Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Mixed Media Classes. This is week week four, <clears throat> excuse me, and the series class 11. So, you know, we this week is all about glimmer and shimmer. So today we are working on Inklings, Creamies, and those are Shimmers products, the Shimmers Paint Company, Inklings and Creamies, and Brutus Monroe Hyper Pigment. So I've just pulled out a couple of them. I'm going to go ahead and move my fancy project tray to the side. I know, right? I could have got the same effect, you guys, had I um, seriously just went to McDonald's and stole some trays. I'm just saying. But probably not as exciting because I wouldn't have the cool rack, but it, whatever. So, again, white cardstock is needed. Got me a thick heavyweight. We are going to need to grab our gesso and our applicator. <clears throat> and I'm like, whew. I've been talking a lot today, getting some, getting ahead on some videos. All right. So, trying. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and gesso this whole paper. However, we're not gonna use the whole paper. We are actually, um, we'll be using half of it. And then in um, tomorrow's video, I'll be using the other half. <laughs> so just so you know, it will not be getting wasted. It will be good to go. And my gesso, oh, you guys, I've been using so much mixed media lately that Good thing I have a spare, you guys know. All right, I apologize. My dog started barking, and I couldn't let the gesso sit there because it would have dried on the page. So I had to kind of do the application, you guys, um, because the neighbor's dog is barking, and she's a pit bull, and she's crazy. So I am just trying to uh, finish doing the uh, gesso. I don't even know if you can hear that dog barking, but yeah, there's a dog barking bee. Show's not having it. All right. So we've got that down. Now we get my rag. All right. So what I usually do, is I'm going to spritz my rag just a little bit to clean up. Yeah, from where I squished it over the edge because I want the entire sheet extremely gessoed and I did apply a very thick layer so it might take a minute for this to dry but that was so I can uh because we're gonna we're gonna douse this and I don't want any spots like you guys have probably seen from playing along with the classes and getting some layouts done on your own. You can definitely tell on the paper where there was gesso and where there was not. So just kind of cleaning up some of that extra gesso. All right. So while this dries to the side, we are going to pull out our swatch book so that we can look at some stuff. <clears throat> All right. We are on the pretty hearts. And today we are working on shimmers, the creamies. I got gesso all over my hand. All right, so the creamies and the inklings are not as pigmented as, um, they're not as shimmery as the shimmers. Those are the creamies. The inklings are not as pigmented. Very, very super shimmer, but not as much, not strong of a pigmented color. And on these as well. So still love them, still still dealing with them. Um, so I am using the Echo Park All Boy Kit again today because I am going to scrapbook um, these pictures of my son. Look how professional he was. <laughs> this was his kindergarten graduation. And uh, he just would not leave his shirt tucked in. So, and he went to a Catholic school. So that is Father George. So we are going to do these because I don't know if I've ever done them before. I'm sure I have. 
but we're gonna do those two colors and I pulled out green because really I know my son's in like a light blue shirt but Father George there, um, the colors of the school before the Catholic school closed down was green and white. I actually graduated eighth grade there. So I'm going to use some greens. And we're going to use the uh, Creamies, Sage It Isn't So. And the Inklings, Emerald City and Honeydew List. Now you can see I have a lot less of these. And the boxes are smaller because I realized it was something that I was going to be adding to a lot. Now the other product that we're going to be working with is the Brutus Monroe Hyper Pigment. All right, so before I get to those, the Creamies and the Inklings. These are different than um, the Shimmers because, oh wait, that one's not. The Inklings are, right? Are all the Creamies like that? Um, so <clears throat> let me look because that's okay yes the creamies are liquidy and you have to mix them up like you do the shimmers um the inklings they're not i thought the creamies were hard too but i could be wrong the inklings definitely are hard so they're definitely hard uh, so all you do to activate that is you just take your water and you just spritz a little bit in there. Um, you don't want to wet them down immediately unless you're using like distilled water, okay? Because they'll mold. Because you're putting like, you know, you're putting the water in there. So you just wanna be aware of that. So now I sprayed this one um, so that I could show you that it this one was pre-sprayed <laughs> before we started because it does take a minute to get it to look like this so I did um, douse it and mix it several times I didn't really douse it I spritzed the top of it and mixed it several times so that it would be ready to go um, and also to show you that it does liquefy up so you just gotta mix it and let me tell you, when I use the shimmers, like um, I've used several different ones today, this water turns so pretty because it's like a shimmery film on it. Just that's not honeydew. Okay, see that I almost screwed that all up in my life. So anyway, you just spritz it. And after it sits for a minute, it will start liquefying up. And the longer you let it sit, the more pigmented and the more you pull of the color. So we are going to put those to the side. Oh, I just dropped my creamies. All right. The other product that we're going to play with is the Bruce Monroe Hyper Pigment. And I just bought the metals, like the metallic colors. And you just shake those up. And it's like... It's a cute little eyedropper. You just, we're just gonna play with that. <laughs> so, those are the products that we are going to play with today. We are going to create uh, something that I haven't done so far, which is really hard to keep coming up with different packaging, you guys, is um, different, you know, layouts, obviously. So um, we are going to create since we're only going to use half of that gessoed paper, we're going to create a band and cut it out and stick it on top of some patterned paper. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to have to wait for that gessoed piece to dry, and we will come back. And this is the collection that I have. I do have out a Hip Kit exclusive alpha, the Delight alphas. You guys have seen me been playing with this um Collection. I went through some old photo albums that I had found when I was cleaning out my scrap room and reorganizing it and I found albums that I had pictures in and you guys are probably gonna like cringe I went through them and the ones that were like random stuff that I'm not gonna scrapbook and had no purpose um, I got rid of them yeah I did um, anything that had my son in it even if it was a bad picture I saved and I will you know, either figure out how to scrap it or um, put it in like pocket page things. I don't know, but yeah. So I found a whole bunch of those of things 
from his childhood that have not been scrapped. So we are going to go through and start getting all those done. So it's a good thing that I have all these boy things, right? All right, we're going to let that dry and we'll be right back. All right, we are completely dry. The paper is crispy. So we're going to cut it. And it's curled a bit, so we're going to go this way. We're just going to cut it. Mm, I don't want it that big, so... Alright, so we're going to make it a 4-inch strip. Now this piece goes into tomorrow's layout. This is the piece that we're going to be playing with today. So, we have our three shimmers products. So we have a creamies and two inklies and we have our gold hyper pigment, which is just going to be for the fun part. All right, so here's the thing. Like I had it down like this. It's very smooth and I'm like, that is not the gessoed side. This has more of a, a chalky feel to it. Um, and my hands dry so much when I'm playing with the mixed media. Okay, so definitely that one is the darkest. So I'm gonna put that one over there. We're gonna go just like that. We have a paintbrush, clean water, new dirty water, which is clean, <laughs> and our rag. All right. So, I'm going to take a pencil. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm thinking, and that's just, <laughs> that doesn't work for me. So what I'm doing is I am measuring it out, okay? So it's 12 inches. We have three, they each need to be four. So I'm just gonna roughly put a little hashtag right in that area. Now, I'm not gonna be able to erase it, so that's why it's just very faint. Um, I might, this one is a little dark. Once I get the mixed media on there, it's not going to be able to come off. So I can't be able to erase it. Sometimes it doesn't even come off when you're using the gesso. So I'm gonna do it like this, and then we're gonna do something else with the fine gold. All right, so we're gonna start with our Sage It Isn't So. And we know this is our dirty water. But it's clean right now, so it's okay. I'm just gonna get that mixed up. Very, very, very creamy. <laughs> oh, I'm cracking myself up. All right. And just keep mixing until all of it is, till the color's all mixed up. Got our little brush loaded. I'm going to spray some water on here, and I just, I'm just going to get it all painted on, and I'm going to cover this pretty much to the line. And I'm going to go all the way to the top. So we've got that all in there. Clean up some of that little excess. And I'm going to just spritz it just a bit more so that I can get the color moving around. That's why we used a lot of gesso. Add a little more color. 
color in. We're just going to keep moving it. And I just wanted just a watercolor band of shimmery goodness to go across each of these little squares that we're going to do. I want to take this inklings, clean water, mix that up because we let it sit for a little bit with some water on it. Okay. Got a hair in there somewhere, you guys. And I didn't spritz this one with any water, but I will just ever so slightly. Moving the color around. I'm just basically painting on here. Now we're going to add some water. Whoops. Spritz that. And now we're going to let it run. And I didn't let for I didn't let the other one dry either. And I'm okay with that. It's gonna bunch up at the end. Just get it all nice and colory. And then we're gonna come right here and just gonna slightly mix them and let it run into each other. And then down and back. And so I do want the overlap um, in this area. And it's just gonna leave a nice little shimmery wash. You guys know I like my wash. But it's just gonna be a nice little band of an accent on the shade. So you don't always have to have super, super crazy mixed media backgrounds. You know, we can we can achieve mixed media in little doses, and that is what this is. This is just a little dose. So we're going to take some of this that I mixed up and get that on here. Get a little spritz of water. This is a little thick. I'm just gonna whoops, make sure that I have all of it covered first painted wise so that when it starts to run and mix and do all that stuff, we don't have to worry about any portion of it not have been at least having a little bit of color on it at some point. And I'm gonna spritz. And then we're going to start running. We just let it run and mix. And as you can see, I was a tad lighter, but I'm okay. Just kind of let, I'm going to let the green flow into it. Adding some more. And let it run down. And bring it back. Then I'm going to stain my hand. So obviously the emerald is going to overpower, but that's okay. So we don't need any more of that. We didn't need any more of that either. B, stop. We're on film. Sue doesn't care, you guys. Sue, Sue's all about what's going on next door. Be honey, angel baby. Sue just doesn't care. 
So we are going to add just a little bit more of this in here. Let's see if we can spray some of that with some water. Yeah, this is very messy and fun. Okay, we are going to take the honeydew and just pop a little bit more in these areas here. I like the way it's mixing. Um, let's kind of make that not look so much like a brush stroke. Get a little bit more of this fun honeydew. That's why I always have the two things of water, guys. Because now it's okay that my water is really dirty, but I'm, cause I'm cleaning it and not introducing the other color, you know, and I'm not contaminating any of the colors. Just kind of, and it's kind of like a marbled look, I guess you could say. Gonna let that run trying to mix some colors and then we run back I don't I'm only tilting like I go this way and then I lightly drop it this way and then run back the other way so I'm not trying to mix down as much as I am just trying to mix it back and forth and you see it's really fun. It's going to hit my hand and make a big mess. And then we're going to let this big old mess dry. Now we'll run this way a little bit. Okay. This is going to, I mean, this over here is already starting to dry because the majority of the crazy mixed media is in the middle. But yeah, so this is just showing you fun little technique. Do you already know the watercolor wash, but I did the ombre effect into it and how we're just going to create not an entire background, just a strip, just to, you know, liven it up a bit. All right, so we're going to let this dry and we'll come back and start on the layout. Okay, so this is now really dry and very, very, very warped, but... We're gonna adhere that down. So that's pretty, it's looking pretty nice and nifty. So let's move my fun tray out of the way. I gotta stop talking about that or I'm gonna have to start getting some kind of paid advertisement from, um, we are memory keepers. <laughs> All right, so those are the pictures. Let us go through. I don't need that. So let's find a background. <laughs> now that I'm thinking, I'm thinking that is probably going to definitely make that pop. So background found. All right. So. Oh, I've got so much stuff. And also, it's the next day from when I was filming wardrobe change and stuff. <laughs> oh, so are you guys? Um, trying to figure out. One second. So did you? Because I'm filming this. On a different day. Did you guys have fun on National Scrapbooking Weekend? If so, what did you participate in? And did you guys happen to catch my live? I did a live over on the Confessions of a Paper Addict, uh, their Facebook group, because I am a member of the design team, which was not announced until May 1st, so I couldn't tell anyone, and it was killing me so yeah but so you'll be seeing a lot more cut files Do -do. I'm really excited about that I love her cut files they are super fun super easy and I am like seriously 
um, like I've had, this is the second Cricut that I've had. And I don't know if it would make a difference to be honest with you guys, if I had a silhouette, I'm just not going to lie about it. I think it would not. Um, because I don't, I have a computer, but it's an old, old like computer. So I have an iPad and an iPhone and I have my work computer. Um, yeah, so I've never actually used the, um, like on the computer. I just do it all from my iPad, my iPhone. So I'm like totally like, it's bad. You guys, it's, it's really bad. Like I'm very, very slow and not up to, um, par when it comes to manipulating the cut files and all of that. Um, however, Virginia makes it super, super easy and yeah, I absolutely adore that because, yeah, I can't. I'm like total noob in every way. Okay, so I was trying to figure out, I think we're going to like label, I'm going to do it. I don't really need his whole... How short would that be? Okay. Yeah. So her cut files are a super awesome. There are a lot of intricate ones and those take time. I'm not gonna lie. They take time. Um, but there are so many like super easy ones. And when you do a layout with a cut file, as you've seen in yesterday's video, um, It pretty much does most of the work for you. I mean, like, obviously, backing the layouts and all of that takes time. But once you get that all done or doing the, the mixed media behind it, um, I just did one in April for the Christmas hop, and I used one of her cut files. Uh, and I took Shimmer's paints, and instead of painting behind it, I backed it with paper, and then... I paint, I did it, I cut it out of white cardstock instead of black. And I painted the cut file. So that was super fun. And added like a couple flare, a title card, and I think if maybe a few little embellishments. But yeah, super, super simple layout, but super effective. Like it was very pretty. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. So I have just been scrapping away because I've gotten a little behind on uh, my videos. These like live ones, they take a lot of time. So I've been trying to get caught up on, or not caught up, ahead on those and the layouts that I have committed to doing which they're not really a commitment. So like if I didn't do it, it's not like people are counting on me. So if I missed a day, it would be fine. But like my design team and also um, for the month of May, which I don't know if it is announced yet, but it's not a secret. Um, scrapbook Your Joy, the shop has reached out to me and asked me to be their guest designer for the month of May, which is super exciting and a huge, huge honor for me. Um, I feel like really, 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 really blessed. Um, she just, she, so I'm going to be a guest designer and I'm, ooh, my little footstool. And I'm like extremely excited about that. So I can't wait. And I have no idea when my first video will go up because I'm waiting. She's sending me a collection that she wants me to play with. Well, not play with, create with. Um, that she is getting ready to promote. It's an Odom Marshall. And it's. I'm really excited to use it. Beautiful colors. So once I get that, I will be creating a layout right away so that she can get that up on her channel. So yeah, you guys have got to get that. Now it's a Canadian-based company, which is totally fine. 
um, but the converse she does all the conversion rates and stuff for you and I know there's some deals that she has so I've never had a problem um, getting my material actually to be honest with you guys yeah um, the items come quicker so that's different okay so we've got the ATG. Now I know there's no mixed media on this sheet, but this is so super warped that I am trying so that I want to make sure that I get the glue on here. So um, the ATG is going to hold it, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold it permanently. It'll start popping up. If you guys will notice, um, if I left that on there, the corners would start to pop up. And we don't want that. We definitely do not want corners popping up all right so we are gonna get that right in this area and we're gonna get that down all right Oh, and again, uh, this is the Echo Park All Boy Collection. I got that when they had their warehouse sale. And uh, the only reason, I mean, it is very, very little boyish, but I had just found all these pictures of, you know, my baby when he was a baby. All right, so we want to bring in... Um, we're gonna do a square of this. And I always washi tape my pictures together like that, you guys. I know that there was like a, but if I'm, I might move it and I'm afraid that I would pull the tape off. So yeah, that was just why we do that. Oh, my desk. I have things. Oh, and my shirt got in the picture there, you guys. <laughs> That's my son got this for me, and it says Sheepwalker. Yeah, I'm still in my jammies. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's a lazy day for me. Everybody is still sleeping, so I am trying to get just a little bit of scrapping done because it's supposed to be, it has been raining here for several days and it is supposed to be pretty today which means you know what it means it means yard works a coming oh that's unfortunate hmm. well let's just do this We'll just have it ripped on the same side. That's not my original plan, but it's just how it's gonna work. I love tearing paper. I don't know if it's because like, it's not something I you would do. Like you would tear it up if you were throwing it in the trash. Like that's how I look at it, so not throwing it in the trash. I'm just getting to tear it and like my stuff's mostly imperfect anyway. <laughs> just saying. So yeah, I found a whole new bunch of pictures to scrap, which is good because we didn't do it. We haven't, you know, we didn't do hardly anything in 2020. I mean, I had mostly pictures because my son graduated high school and pictures of that nature um, but so far in 2021 like the only thing that's big that's happened is my mom turned 65 and retired so nothing else nothing <laughs> very sad very sad so yeah so i needed something all right so we need to find stuff that will go with what we have going on here. 
And I'm kind of going towards the brown and the green because that's what we're doing. But I, I know this is sad, but I, I'm looking at this whole, and like these type of things I can use in other places, if that's making any sense. Uh, because we are going to Florida for vacation in July. I know I've said that a thousand times, but I'm ready. Okay, I want to do The Boys Rock as my title. So I'm trying to figure out where I would like that. So we'll come back to that. little border. Right on the edge. And trim that up. And then I'm going to do this one the same. How has everybody liked the class so far as we are we're halfway through it halfway through it oh I'm having a blast and I really do hope that you guys are too I am I know this is gonna sound bad but I am already starting to think of what we can do for a series next like what do you guys think what do you guys think we should do next? I need some ideas. What do you guys want to play with? All right, so I pulled out that dinosaur. So we're gonna pull out the rest of these little dinos. Oh, not the rest, I guess. Not the rest, because there's a lot. Um, so many things. Like adventure awaits. But that's not even a sticker. This boom right here is just on there. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is messed. That's messed up. I'm just. I'm just gonna say it. Obviously. All right. So. Um. Let's take this little guy and put him up here. Well, he's facing the wrong way. So let's put him right here. And it's like he's running away from the T-Rex, right? Hmm. Put him right there. And we're gonna make a little cluster down about here. Get this stuck right there. I'm gonna put this on some black. Do a uh, do Ronnie Sue's trick. I see her do this so many times. My, I'm like, I need to remember to do that. Or she takes these little bitty word phrases and she um, maps them. And I'm always like, I need to do that. If you guys aren't already subscribers to Ronnie Sue, you guys need to. She's like my scrappy bestie. All right, I'm just gonna stick that right there. Uh -oh. That was like stuck. Okay. Put 
Just a little of this. Let's go right here. We're just gonna go on a diagonal. I have since figured that out like at this particular moment. Um, yeah, I, I never have a plan, you guys. Never, never. As far as I got planning was this part and the rest was up for grabs. So a little dino guy needs to come and he can kind of be, we'll just have all the dinos up there at the top. That's fine. And it's because my son was like, all little boys, I guess, and completely in love with dinos. Although, I have OCD. I have OCD bad. Like, everything, like, has to, like, be organized certain ways, okay? My fiancés learned to accept it. But I never, we never realized how bad I was, like, when I was younger, when my son was growing up, until we seen how my son played, okay? He would take his dinosaurs and his transformers and his little army men, and like he would have them in a parade from like all the tall guys going down to the little guys. <laughs> like everything would be like, and, and it would be like size, like and it was like oh, he, and if you moved him, he'd freak out. Um, and then we would laugh. My my friend, you know what does Sam do? And we'd go like in his room and, you know, cause he was like this age and <laughs> we'd go do a check on him and stuff. And <laughs> his whole room, like his whole room would be like, one, it would be like divided in half and like one side would be all his transformers and the other side would be like what he used to, he used to call the U.S. Army and they were the bad guys and the transformers were the good guys. And I mean, it would take this child hours to set up for like, you know, and then he'd come get us and he'd be like, it's time. And we, okay. So we'd all go in there and the war would begin. And it was basically him just throwing the toys at each other. And it was like maybe 45 seconds. And then we'd be like, now what? And he'd be like, now we have to set up again. And like three and four hours later, everything was set up again and we'd have another 45 second war. Yeah, that was, I was always like, oh, that kid, is, that kid is totally mine. I cannot say he's not mine. Because it's, it's right there. It is right there. All right, so we need something else for these clusters. But what I'm thinking is we are going... I need to go this way, actually. All right. Connect them with the that might not actually be long enough. Well, we probably could have made it go there. I was thinking we weren't going to be able to get there. Oh, come on. And yes, I will have to put some. No. Okay, who can spell? Not me. I just seen a post <laughs> online that was asking if people, if you've misspelled something on your layouts, would you want someone on social media to tell you? I'm all, yeah. I mean, I've, I've had people tell me because you put it down and I had, like, it was funny. The lady was like, I think you meant that. I was like, I totally did mean I, I wanted it to say superstar 
And when I put the stickers on the page, I spelled Star Super. So, yeah, that looks fun. Okay, so now we've got to kind of get them. Let's do one of these little numbers. All right, that is all kinds of messy, but my title is Boys Rock. And we're gonna take a little bit of this linen thread from Stampin' Up. And we're just going to Tie a knot right like so. And then let's see, that knot's gonna go there. And then we need, we need a knot in this area. And hopefully that was. Pushed it back too far. Nothing ever works for me. Somebody just came out. All right. I think we can make that one work. I'm just going to run the glue. It's probably too short now. What do you guys think? You guys are like, no, you did it too short and you cut it. Yep. Yes, I did. Because I am super impatient. Nope, that's perfect. All right, but I am getting glue all over the place. She wanted snow. I'm just going to pop that right there. It's kind of a funky banner. But it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Alright, we need to add a couple more elements. Um, boys and their toys. Already got one of those. Oh, this one's cute. You're the best son in the world. And then I need something right there. What do you guys think I should put right there? You guys are probably telling me that there's probably something really cool to put there. And I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. Let's do a couple of these. Round that out. Just kind of stick these in all around in this general vicinity. We're going to call it almost done. We just have a cup. One more big thing to do. Hindsight, I should have put the red in the middle, but we're fine. All right. Oh, this one's cute. You're looking sharp. Because this, you know, it's kind of a play because he wouldn't tuck his shirt in. Because that's my boy. <coughs> Get this little dino guy. Put one of those there. Put that one there. Put this one 
and probably add one there. All right, so I know you think I forgot, but I didn't. The hyper pigments. All right. What we want to do is let me get my mat and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my glass medium mat that I won from JQ Crafty, which was really nice. So what I'm gonna do is this, I use, this is what I use um, when I'm doing smaller embellishments because obviously the 12 by 12 doesn't sit on there and I'm, I know I've been talking about it. I'm thinking about getting the big one. So anyway, we're gonna take the hyper pigment in gold. And the other thing that I think I need to get is a fan brush. I've been seeing the Scrappy Sisters use a fan brush to do their splatters. And it comes out like super sweet. So yeah, I'm thinking I like that. So we're just going to squeeze some of the hyper pigment into the mat. And I'm going to take my cups of water. My clean water. And just mix that around. And just cover the pictures. And we're just going to sparkle up the background just with some splatters. I love doing splatters, you guys. I haven't really done them a lot because I've been focusing on other techniques for this series. And also I've seen a lot of people are getting ready to do mixed media series. series so I'm actually really excited about that. Um, because I love learning things. So if you guys know anybody that's getting ready to do a series, now I'm going to do some big splats too. Um, yeah, let me know. Put it in the Facebook group so we can all play along. I'm also going to sign up for Chamel's, um, oh, that's sad, uh, class. Her half and half class that went live not too long ago in April. I keep forgetting that this class is for May. So, yeah, so that'll be fun be doing some videos on that. All right, so when that hyper pigment dries, it's going to leave a very, very pretty glow, little splatter shine all over the layouts. So we are going to call this one done. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please click that subscribe button down below if you have not already. I do love and appreciate all of you that already have. You guys, when you leave those little comments, it always makes me so happy and I try to reply back. Um, sometimes it's just a thank you because I can't think of anything smart and intelligent to say. So I do appreciate those. And I will see you again tomorrow for another layout. Bye.